have some fun. We're going to do something that's very special to me, and we're going to do it together. We call it Sunday sauce. It's the sauce I grew up with. This is a slow simmered uh, ragu sauce uh, that most Southern Italians serve for their Sunday family meal. It wouldn't be Sunday without it. Everybody has their own version. You can use beef, veal, pork, lamb. You can even do chicken. The sausage can be combined with all of the meats mentioned. Today we're going to do ribs. We're going to start by preheating the, uh, the pot. We're going to add olive oil. This is already up to temperature. And from here we're going to salt and pepper the ribs. It's important to hit all the sides. Be generous. These are big pieces of meat. Turn them over. Make sure you do both sides. We're going to begin browning the, the ribs. They're beautiful. Very meaty. And it's real important, given the choice of bone in or boneless, always choose the bone in meat. There's much more flavor than the flavor is going to add to the sauce. Okay, you see how nicely these are browned. It's important to make sure that they're browned thoroughly. You see the nice caramelization. We're going to remove them and put them aside. And from here we're going to do the sausage. Oh, those look beautiful. Okay, we're going to use my hot and mild sausage today. You, it, you can really use whichever one you'd like, uh, hot, mild, or you can even use the chicken products. Okay, these are done. We're going to take them out. Nice, nice color. Just browned on the outside. We're going to finish cooking them in the sauce. We've added a tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to saute the onions now. Make sure we salt them. We're going to add a few pinches of crushed red chilies. These are optional. We're going to saute the onions until they're transparent. It should take three to four minutes. You can see the onions are translucent now. I'm going to add the garlic. We want to saute this no more than a minute. You're going to smell the perfume of the garlic. Just like I am right now. It's delicious. Delicious smell. You get that perfume. That's when we know it's right. We're going to deglaze the pan with red wine. What we're going to do by deglazing is we're going to scrape the bottom of the pan to get any of those nice brown bits from the meat to be integrated in the sauce. We're going to reduce the wine by a half. This should take about two minutes. Okay, we're going to talk about tomatoes now. Uh, we can only get really good tomatoes a month or two of the year. And um, really, your, your best bet is to use canned tomatoes and good, a good quality of canned uh, peeled tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze them by hand. Uh, just use your hands, feel the bits. You want to let squeeze them between your fingers. And it probably will do a better job than a wooden spoon. Okay, we're going to add the crushed tomatoes. We're going to salt them. And we're going to add a bay leaf. I'm going to tear some nice, fresh basil leaves into the sauce. It gives a nice sweetness. And then we're going to add the ribs, just the ribs back to the pot. These are beautiful. And now we're going to bring this to a boil. Now we're going to uh, finish the ribs in the oven. 
uh, this this can be done on the stove top but I think with the ribs it helps to use the oven to braise okay we preheated the oven to 225 and we're gonna place the covered pot in the oven the ribs have been braising for an hour oh they smell good mm. they look good too now we're going to add the sausage. We're going to cook the sausage for an additional hour with the lid off because we want the sauce to reduce. We have 15 minutes to go before the uh, sauce is finished. We're going to drop the pasta. First, we're going to salt the water. I think we're ready to go. Oh, this smells good. Mm. Oh, now look at this. The meat pulls out of the bone. That's what you want to look for. This is cooked to perfection. Okay, we're going to add some sauce to this. Pasta's done. Now, we want to keep this on the heat and integrate the sauce. We want to make sure that every strand of pasta, every piece of pasta is coated with sauce. Now, I'm going to tear basil. I, were, I wish you were with me. Here's some Pecorino Romano. Look at this meat. It's fork tender. You don't need a knife. That's good. We can eat the pasta first, the meat second, or we can eat them all together. Your choice. Bon appetito.